Imagine living a life free from constant financial stress, where you experience true financial freedom, emotional fulfillment, and genuine happiness. This dream can become your reality. Today, we're diving into the core principles of breaking free from common financial traps, the stop doing what poor people do principles. We're not just talking about accumulating wealth here, we're discussing cultivating a mindset that brings prosperity, peace, and positivity. These principles are life-altering, and by the end of this video, you'll see your finances and life in a new light. So, why should you listen? Because you don't want to merely exist, you want to live well. Stay tuned, because the journey toward financial independence and a fulfilling life starts right here, right now. Now, let's dive into the first principle. Stop spending beyond your means. While it may seem straightforward, it's often overlooked. We're constantly bombarded with advertisements that encourage us to buy things we don't need. This cycle of consumerism can lead to financial insecurity. This is where the Stoic principle of self-control comes into play. Stoicism teaches us not to be slaves to our desires, finding contentment in what we have. Distinguishing between needs and wants helps us make informed spending decisions. By emulating the tortoise measured and thoughtful instead of the impulsive hare, we can build a stable financial foundation. Imagine having enough savings to handle unexpected expenses, being debt-free, and having the freedom to pursue your passions. Living within your means isn't about sacrifice, but about making better choices for a secure and fulfilling life. The second principle is stop ignoring your finances. Ignorance can lead to financial distress. Stoicism emphasizes wisdom and awareness of one's circumstances. Imagine your finances as a garden, neglect leads to chaos, but regular attention keeps it flourishing. Being grounded in reality means evaluating your income, debts, expenses, savings, and investments. Ignoring your finances can result in poor money management habits, while awareness empowers sound decisions. The third principle is stop associating wealth with happiness. Society often equates wealth with happiness, but Stoicism teaches that true happiness lies in virtue. Virtue is within your control, unlike external wealth. Material possessions are transient, while knowledge, experiences, and relationships enrich your life. Gratitude for what you have leads to peace and contentment. The fourth principle is embrace risk. Successful people differentiate themselves by their courage to take calculated risks. Instead of fearing failure or challenges, view risks as opportunities for growth. Life is full of risks, and embracing them opens doors to opportunities and success. Remember, calculated risks require knowledge and wisdom. It's through these risks that you grow, evolve, and inch closer to your goals, whether it's financial independence, personal development, or life satisfaction. Don't forget to subscribe to become part of a like-minded community on a journey of growth and development. This channel provides valuable knowledge, insights, and tips to help you create a better, more prosperous life. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. Remember our fourth principle, embrace the risk. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and join us on this journey of growth and prosperity. Building on the idea of personal responsibility, let's now dive into the fifth principle, stop neglecting personal development. As Stoics, we should continuously strive for self-improvement and growth. Imagine yourself as a tree, constantly branching out and reaching for the sky. This analogy illustrates our aspiration for personal development. So, what does personal development entail? It's about becoming the best version of yourself. This includes investing your time and resources in expanding your knowledge, 
honing your skills, nurturing your talents, and fostering your overall well-being. Just like software requires regular updates to remain efficient and relevant, we too must keep learning and updating our skills to stay competitive in today's fast-paced world. Now let's talk about a common trap many people fall into, the comfort zone. It's a place where everything is familiar and easy. While it may feel cozy and safe, it's also a place where personal growth is stifled. As the saying goes, a comfort zone is a beautiful place, but nothing ever grows there. In Stoicism, the comfort zone is akin to a stagnant pond. It's unchanging, but it fosters decay. In contrast, stepping out of your comfort zone is like wading into a flowing river. The currents may be strong and intimidating, but they also carry energy and vitality, driving growth and change. Personal development is not a luxury. It's a necessity. It takes courage to step out of your comfort zone and embark on a path of lifelong learning. The world around us is constantly evolving, and if we stop learning, we risk becoming obsolete. Think of personal development as a shark that must keep moving to stay alive. We too must keep learning to remain relevant and competitive. Now let's address another aspect of personal development, investing in yourself. This can involve pursuing further education, attending workshops or seminars, seeking out a mentor, or dedicating time each day to reading and expanding your knowledge. Investing in yourself can have a profound impact on your career, relationships, and overall quality of life. You might wonder about the feasibility of such an endeavor, considering time and financial constraints. Here, Stoicism's value of self-control comes into play. It's about making the right decisions, not necessarily the easiest ones. Prioritizing personal development might mean reallocating resources from leisure activities or unnecessary expenditures. It's not about making drastic sacrifices, but about making conscious decisions that align with your long-term goals. In conclusion, personal development is a journey, not a destination. It's about progress, not perfection. Embrace the stoic principle of continuous learning and growth. Channel your energy into becoming the best version of yourself. Each day presents an opportunity to learn something new, improve a skill, or gain a fresh perspective. Seize these opportunities. Remember that your personal growth can directly influence your financial growth. So stop neglecting your personal development. Start investing in yourself and watch your life transform for the better. As we continue to explore Stoic principles, let's delve into the sixth one, stop blaming others. This principle is a fundamental cornerstone of Stoic philosophy, emphasizing personal responsibility and self-reliance. In our culture, it's often easier to blame circumstances, people, or systems for our predicaments. However, doing so relinquishes our control and power over our lives, turning us into victims rather than active participants in our journeys. At first glance, blaming others might seem comforting. After all, if someone else is at fault, it's not our responsibility, right? But this is where the trap lies. Every time we blame others for our financial struggles or failures, we surrender our power to change, learn, and grow. Stoicism teaches us the opposite. It urges us to take control, to take ownership of our decisions, actions, and ultimately, our lives. It's about understanding that the power to influence our financial situation lies within us. By adopting this mindset, we transition from being passive observers to becoming active creators of our destinies. We shift from the back seat to the driver's seat taking control of our lives and steering them in the direction we truly desire. To illustrate this point, consider a scenario. Let's say you've accumulated a significant credit card debt. It's tempting to blame high interest rates or societal pressures for your situation. But the truth is, it was your choice to use that credit card. 
right? Embracing personal responsibility doesn't mean condemning yourself to a life of guilt and self-blame. Instead, it presents an opportunity to learn from your mistakes and make better decisions in the future. Embracing personal responsibility means acknowledging that our financial situation reflects our decisions and actions. While external factors do play a role, how we react to those factors matters much more. For example, during the recent pandemic, many people lost their jobs, which was undoubtedly a financial blow. However, some used this period for self-growth, learning new skills, or even starting businesses, creating new income streams. This illustrates the power of personal responsibility. It enables us to adapt, innovate, and overcome, regardless of the circumstances. This principle also ties into the Stoic concept of the dichotomy of control, which distinguishes between what we can control and what we cannot. We may not control the economy, the job market, or inflation rates, but we can control our spending habits, our attitude towards money, and our commitment to financial literacy and growth. In conclusion, stop blaming others is not just a principle, it's a way of life. It's about taking ownership, learning from our mistakes, and continuously striving to improve. It's about understanding that the key to financial freedom and a fulfilling life lies not in external factors, but within us. As the famous Stoic philosopher Epictetus said, we are not disturbed by things, but by the views we take of them. Transitioning from this principle, let's turn our attention to principle number seven, stop living to please others. This principle is deeply rooted in Stoic philosophy, urging us to live in alignment with our values rather than conforming to societal expectations or norms imposed on us. In today's digital age, the pressure to conform and meet other people's expectations is more pronounced than ever. We often feel compelled to lead lives that are not authentic, deviating from our true selves in an attempt to gain approval or acceptance from others. This behavior extends to our approach to wealth and financial management. Many people strive to keep up with their peers, matching their lifestyles, possessions, and social status, often at the expense of their own financial well-being. Consequently, some find themselves in debt or living beyond their means just to mirror the perceived extravagance of others. The Stoic principle of independence calls upon us to resist this temptation to stop living to please others. Instead, we should focus on our unique journey and our path toward financial independence. Just as a marathon runner keeps their eyes on the race, we must do the same. Comparing ourselves to others or how they manage their money can be distracting and lead to financial decisions that are not in our best interest. So, how can we start living in accordance with this principle? Firstly, it's about self-awareness, knowing your values and your financial goals. What does financial success look like to you? Define your goals clearly. Secondly, craft a financial plan that aligns with these personal goals. Make sure your plan is realistic and, most importantly, tailored to your specific needs and aspirations. Avoid being influenced by what others are doing or what they have. Lastly, practice resilience. There will always be pressure to conform and live to please others. But remember, your financial journey is unique and it's essential to stay focused on your path to financial independence. Embracing this principle is not an overnight process. It demands patience, persistence, and self-reflection. However, the rewards are significant. When you stop living to please others, you gain control over your finances and your life. You live authentically, experience less stress, and ultimately find greater happiness. In conclusion, don't let societal pressures dictate your financial decisions. Live according to your values and let them guide your path towards financial independence. Remember that the race is long, and in the end, it's a journey within yourself.
Continuing our journey toward financial freedom and fulfillment, we arrive at our final and perhaps one of the most transformative principles. Stop resisting change. Change is an inevitable part of life, yet we often resist it. We tend to hold on to the familiar, the known, and our comfort zones. Stoicism, however, teaches us to accept and embrace change, recognizing the transient nature of life and adapting accordingly. It is in this adaptability that we truly thrive. Consider the natural world. Seasons change, tides ebb and flow, and the sun rises and sets, all indicating life's inherent fluctuating nature. Just as a river never remains the same, life continuously evolves. We must learn to evolve with it, flowing with the current rather than against it. In the context of our finances, this principle suggests that economic landscapes are in constant flux. New industries emerge while old ones become obsolete, interest rates fluctuate, and the job market shifts. The only certainty is uncertainty. The challenge, then, is not to resist change, but to navigate it effectively. Resistance to change in our financial lives can manifest in various ways. It may involve refusing to accept that your industry is evolving or clinging to outdated skills. It might mean sticking to the same old investment strategy even when it's no longer effective or fearing to explore new investment opportunities. To stop resisting change, we must first change our mindset. We must acknowledge that while change can be challenging, it can also open doors to exciting opportunities and greater prosperity. Just as a caterpillar must undergo a transformation to become a butterfly, change provides us with the wings to soar. Education plays a vital role in this process. Knowledge reduces fear, and fear is often what fuels our resistance to change. Stay informed about economic trends, investment opportunities, and financial best practices. Knowledge serves as the compass that helps you navigate the sea of change. Maintaining a balanced perspective is equally crucial. Understand that change can bring both gains and losses. Like a coin with two sides, change is not inherently positive or negative. A job loss could lead to a more fulfilling career, a failed investment could provide valuable lessons, and a financial setback could foster resilience and resourcefulness. Lastly, learn to be flexible. Rigidity in the face of change is like a tree standing stiff in a storm. It's likely to break. On the other hand, flexibility allows you to weather the storms of economic change. Remember that the world is an ever-changing canvas, and you are the artist. With the right mindset, knowledge, perspective, and flexibility, you can paint a picture of financial prosperity and fulfillment. Embracing change is not just about achieving financial success, it's about leading a fulfilling life. It's about growth, learning, and evolving. It's about turning the pages of life and discovering your true potential. So let's stop resisting change. Let's embrace it, for it is the path to true freedom and fulfillment.